Hey guys, back again, and today, as you guys can see, I ran the figure pickup, guys. Um, yeah, so before I show everyone the actual figure I picked up, well, you can see who it is, but I'll explain why I picked it up, guys. So, back as a child, as you all know, I loved the WWF, now WWE. And I had loads and loads of wrestling figurines when I was a kid. And, uh, yeah, I've been, you know, I know a lot of people out there collect these figurines and that lot. And I got out of doing that, obviously. I went into more into horror and video game figurines, picking them up. But over the years, you know, there's a few wrestlers that I've always liked and would love to have back in my collection in new inbox because I don't open my figures guys I I display mine in box I hang them on a wall by the hangers because of this house is so small and I also you know put them on shelves and stuff in the boxes so yeah but long story short guys um I never really I find it hard to find figures that go with my collection if you know what I mean I don't want to make it look like I'm picking up kids toys to stick on the wall if you know what I mean um some people might not care about that. Some people might. Whereas this figure here, they really released it in like a nice box that goes alongside like McFarlane, Necker and stuff like that. So I'm really happy with this one. That's the reason I picked it up, guys. But there is a few out there I still do want to pick up. But, you know, I don't want to make it look like I've just got a whole wall of random toys but you know I, i've done as each to each and everyone's own you know and it probably come across as a bit of a way of wow wow word that might have uh, offended some people it weren't meant to be that way it's just the way i that like, you know some of the boxes don't look nice you know it's hard to find a figure in box that looks nice that's what i mean to say you know you don't want to make it just look like you've got a random shelf of crap but you know you know what i mean but yeah so anyway, let's get to the back of the box guys so the back of the box is really nice on this one as well you got the fiend. I've got to try and get the glare off it. So that's what I've got to turn it sideways. It's the best way to see. So you've got the fiend down here, guys. You've got some writing down here. If you want to read it, I'll see if I can get it. I think maybe you can pause that and read it. Got some um, stats about him here, including how tall he is. Six foot three. Parts unknown. Manable claw. Universal championship. Or so on and so forth. Got a really cool red banner going all the way through that. And then the fiend up here in the... I think I think that's the real vein picture, and then this is the figure they took of him. Got a bit of on focus happening and on the side. This side it says the fiend Bray Wyatt. So on the other side you got the figure. Of him. So let's get to the actual figure. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. So like I said, it's got a bit of glare. So I'll keep. It's worse that way. Hang on. There we go, guys. Still got a bit of glare. That's better. So this is his alternative head. I think it looks pretty cool. And you get the alternative arms with the jacket. So you can have them in jacket form. I'll never know because I'll never take them out of the box. You do get the really cool championship belt that he had. A really, really freaky looking belt. Uh, I'm never really a fan when they do this. But to be honest, that is a really cool looking belt. Nonetheless, it goes with, you know, goes with him. So that's really cool. And then up here, guys, we've got the actual figure fiend. When it actually stops doing what it's doing. Let me see if I can get rid of that glare for you guys. So it's focused, but there's a bit of glare. I don't know how to get rid of the glare. There you go. That's got rid of it, kind of. That is the trouble when you keep minting box, guys. But I just find I, I don't like opening them. You know, I, I always open my figures and lose bits, break things, whatever. So I've learned just to keep the little ones in box. So, yeah, but yeah, as you can see, he's got the uh, red and black pants on, as he actually has, and these black and red boots. He's got his cool gloves on. He even says hurt and heel on there. And then you've got all the really cool-looking tattoos. I know they're not all going to be 100% accurate into this because, obviously, it's meant to be a kid's you know figure but a lot of people do collect them as do with myself whoops that's better you can see the tattoos a little bit better if we spin him around again we can see the other tattoos so on and so forth so yeah guys um there's a few more figures i would like to pick up i've seen they've done a hulk hogan like this and i don't think i'm going to be picking that one up guys because uh, i just want to make it quite clear guys i'm not 
I'm not into collecting every single WWE superstar or any figure in that match. I know I just like to collect who I like, guys. So uh, if you want to get a rough idea of who I will be probably picking up, it will out of the newer generation superstars, probably one version of AJ Styles, um, one version of Roman Reigns, one version of like the New Day. I want the best you know, head sculpt of them to make it look really good, I want that, um, a, a very good, uh, Bray, uh, not Bray, Braun Strowman, not the newer version of Braun though, I want the one before he went bald, because I don't like that look to him, I just really don't like that look to him, and ever since they've done that to him, they have just killed him off, uh, I just can't see him coming back guys, I really can't, it, it wouldn't surprise me if he's next to go in the list, in WWE cuts, and uh, it's a shame, because I, I think he had a lot of, you know, he he was the next monster in the ring, and uh, they ruined it, I don't know what Vince is doing, I really don't, I mean, I can't blame it so purposely on Vince, but you know, it's his company, he has the last say, who's going, and who's staying, and whatnot, and you know, I know he's right at teams, of who's writing the story, and if they turn around and say to him, look, we got nothing for him, we don't know what to do with him, and that, but, you know, at the end of the day, oh, you're trying to tell me that what's wrong with the wrestlers um, coming up with their own ideas? Let them try doing it. You know, if you've got if you've got a story to tell with the, say, you know, your big stars like The Rock and Triple H and stuff, and you've got nothing for the mid-card and lower-card talent, let them fight for their spot. Let them decide what they want to do. Just say, look, you two are going to match tonight. Um, impress me. I don't care who wins. I'll come between you two, go off the crowd, feed off the crowd, and see what happens. But no, he doesn't. He's like, oh, I've got nothing for you, so, you know, bye. And it's always like, I always feel like he just chucks away opportunities for people, and it's not fair. And, uh, you know, I know Triple H gets a lot of flack, but, you know, he's doing really well. You can see the NXT's thriving, man. I watched NXT, uh, was it TakeOver before WrestleMania? And that was fucking amazing. They had a ginormous skull and fucking... It was great, guys. It was really, really good. And then, you know, WrestleMania... Don't get me wrong, the set looked pretty good, you know. Pretty good for short-term notice. Because, I mean, I don't think they actually knew 100% that they was going to do a live show until, like, maybe December, October. You know, they knew they wanted to. But I think that was like, will we be prohibited to? Will we be allowed to? Will, you know, and I think that was like... When they finally got the, yeah, you'll definitely be allowed to, I think then they started to go with it. And, you know, it did look pretty good. Um, a lot of people didn't like the WrestleMania results. I thought the WrestleMania was pretty pretty good. In, in Overall, guys, pretty good. You know, obviously, everyone didn't want Bobby Lashley versus uh, Drew McIntyre. I don't know why. I thought it was a pretty good match. Surprised that Bobby still retained it because I would have thought that, you know, it was good they're giving him a good run. I'm happy for that. Um, I'm really happy that Sheamus beat Matt Riddler only because of the simple fact is I just, I just can't stand Matt Riddler. Uh, I don't know what he's like as a real human in real life, but, I, I, well, the, the, the way they've got him portrayed on there, he's a fucking idiot. I hate him. Everything he does, the way he talks, you bro, oh, God. No, 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 he's just not entertaining in one bit, he might be a great wrestler if, you know, they laced him up properly, but I don't fucking like him as the bro, he's a twat, um, Keith Lee, they've pretty much killed him off, and I'm, you know, and I was looking forward to seeing him have a good run, but nope, I wonder not where he is at the minute, so yeah, that's that done, um, Samoa Joe's actually been released, so that's no hope for there, WWE's really starting to piss things up. That's all I'm gonna say on the matter. But not about that today, guys. About this figure. So yeah. Then in the new, in the older generations, guys, I want to pick up obviously a decent Kane, a decent Undertaker, because Kane and Undertaker were my two favorite wrestlers. Uh, didn't really have a favorite out of the pair of them. They were both just level pegging. They were just both so bloody awesome, and you know they got me into wrestling. Yeah, and then you know, I've always gonna have a special bar set for Undertaker, Kane. Triple H, Rock, Austin, and that's just the way it is, because they made wrestling so entertaining, so much fun, and uh, yeah, I don't think anyone could hold a candle to him, to be honest, I mean, people might say Macho Man and Hulk Hogan, and yeah, they was good, they was good, but they didn't bring that story where you wanted to watch it, as well as 
you know, they they never got to that attitude error, and everyone, I know everyone's going to say the same thing, what is it with the attitude error, what is it with the attitude error, it's got nothing, they could have called it the fucking Mickey Mouse error, it would have still been better, because the simple fact is, it's that, the way they delivered things, they, they didn't seem to be a mid-card wrestler, there was like, Everyone did their part, and it was good, you know, you wanted to see the Edge and Christian versus Matt and Jeff, you wanted to see the the Val Venus versus fucking Goldust, you wanted to see the New Age Outlaws, you wanted to see all them, you know, and then you had The Rock and Triple H come on last, or whatever, or Kane and Undertaker, you wanted to see it, guys, you wanted to see it, no matter who it was, you wanted to see it. Nowadays, you look at the new day and stuff, and it's just like, oh, God, it's generic. Here we go again. Who are they facing this time? Oh, it's another boring tag team. See, back in the day, the tag teams of the day was great. You look at the, the Dudley boys. You look at the Hardy boys. You look at Edge and Christian. You know, you look at the Marsh and Thrasher, and, you know, the New Age Outlaws and all people like that, and they brought it, they brought it, they all had their own twang to them, you know, even Test and Albert, when they were TNA, had their own twang, they had Trish Stratus, it was all the mouthpiece, and they would go in the ring and do their thing, and it was, that's what it was. You know, and they ain't got that today. They've lost all that today. They're too busy rolling around with a thumb up their ass, figuring out what the fans want. Stop keep trying to please a little kiddie child audience and start pleading people between, like you did in the Attitude Era, between the, the mid-teenage era and the and the 20s and the 30s. All right, at the end of the day, yeah, if the parents think the kids are going to enjoy it, they're going to take them anyway. They're going to take them anyway. I mean, I was a young boy myself, and my parents let me watch it, and I thought it was fucking awesome. And it weren't nothing because it was like they're getting away with stuff that was cool. It just looked so much more fun. The stories were better. The lines were better. The the, the promos were better because they were just shot right there and then, like, bam. You know, nowadays it's all mind your P's and Q's, don't swear, don't do this, don't do that. And it's like, mm, you know, it's, no, we're not meant to be here to watch Walt Disney's wrestling. We're meant to be here to watch, you know, proper smash mouth wrestling. I mean, like I said, guys, going back to NXT TakeOver we, I watched before it, that was brilliant. They, you never knew who was going to win the match. It was like, wow, that's a, that, that's got to be it. That's, that was like a finisher. In WWE, that had been, no, he kicked out. And again, he kicked out. And again, he kicked out. And I watched one a few years back where Kevin Owens returned to face the... Um, Adam Cole in that lot with Ch 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 Champa and him. That match was awesome. That match was awesome. But, you know, that's the thing. They do moves that you think, oh, that's got to be the end of the match. That's got to be the end of the match. But Vince McMahon lets people end the match on a little super kick to the face. Dush. One, two, three. You're like, what? You know, it don't seem right. It really doesn't. But that's that. That's my opinion, guys, anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to be picking up a lot more leads. I'm sorry about the yapping on about things that don't make no sense to this figure, guys. But that's what I've just showed you. The figure does look really amazing, guys. I will be picking up some more. But let me know down below, guys, what you guys think. Because, I mean, you, it, you kind of feel embarrassed, don't you, to watch wrestling nowadays. It's like, you 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 know, it's like, everyone's like, you, you watch wrestling. <laughs> You know, because it's, it's, it's a laughing stock now. It's how bad it's got. And, it, and, I, and you know, you can't say it's not Vince's fault either. Because he, he, you know, he sits there watching the shit. He must look over the primer. Like, yeah, there's meetings. He must know what they're going to do. And I'd be like, nah, that's crap. I mean, like, The Fiend, guys, right? The reason I picked up this figure like this one is because I don't think The Fiend's going to be going around much more like this. They're killing him off big time. Why? I really don't know. It's almost like he came back at WrestleMania and they had no fucking clue he was coming back kind of like thing. They did a really awesome entrance like The Undertaker Returns, you know? Like, wow, that's fucking... Oh, that's creepy. That's cool. And then what did they do? They turned Alexa Bliss on him and he lost. It was like, the way they did that as well, it was just no point. He came back in the red light again, you know, which did make them, make him look more creepy, I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, it just didn't make no sense. And then to top of it all off, I saw Bo Dallas was released from WWE again. And I thought I thought he was already released. <laughs> I actually did thought he was already released, guys, when he got released with Kurt, um, Axel. So, no, I guess not. But, yeah, so, anyway, guys, taking the glare off him again. Here he is again in his box, guys. And, like I said, I'm really happy with him. I got him for, I think, 28 or 30 pounds. Between 28 and 30, no more than that. And uh, I'm, I'm more than happy with him, guys. I'm going to hang him on the wall with the rest of them. 
and go there. I have got some more Mortal Kombat figures I've not shown yet, guys. So if you do want to see them, let me know down below and I will I will show them off. If not, then I'll just wait till I get my um, area done where all my figures will be hanging. And uh, yeah, I'll show you then, guys. But in the meantime, guys, thanks very much for watching. Let me know down below if you think this figure is pretty cool. I think he's pretty cool. Looks just like him. I'm happy with him as an, as a, an ornament standpoint. Because that's what I do with my figures, guys. They're just ornaments to me. I I, I get them because they mean something to me. Or like, I like that film. Or I like that f person. Or whatever, you know. So that's why I do it. I imagine why everyone does it. But you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah. It's, it's high praise for The Fiend to get. to For me to buy a figure of a wrestler. That I actually think looks like him, guys. He does look like him. Um, some people have unboxed it. I've seen him unboxing before. As I bought it. And they've said, like, you know, it's not the ultimate figure. He doesn't come with a lantern. Or he doesn't look right. And to me, guys, he looks exactly as I would expect The Fiend to look. Um, obviously, they weren't buying wrestling figures back in 1990s and 2000s. When they looked like they was constipated. I mean, I had a Triple H figure once, guys. Yeah. Uh, when he was doing a pedigree pose. He was actually doing the pedigree and his hair was constantly stuck up in the air you know he looked like uh static from the band you know <laughs> like, uh, static x rest in peace him as well but, but yeah uh so yeah it was hilarious then you know so they're saying that this doesn't look like him and that like he you know i'm trying to get the glare guys to go right off his onto his face and you can see guys it looks just there we go what's not to what's not to say it looked like him They've even got them, them extra two teeth bigger as he does have. Here he is with his alternative head. If I can get the glare off. There we go, guys. What's not to like? You know, it, it's perfect. And as you can see from the distance, it's amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. But like I said, guys, let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see the other Mortal Kombat figures I've picked up. Let me know if you enjoy the figure. Um pickups because i do pick up figures every now and then uh probably be picking up more and more over time but obviously when i get myself sorted out in this house i mean i think people are just as frustrated with this house as i am at the minute i mean it's just not getting done quick enough and i feel frustrated but i'm going with the blows guys i'm going with the blows and i'm rolling with the punches as they say i got uh if i didn't upload anything i need nothing to get done with it so you know and that's a long video guys i will apologize for that I was talking loads of crap worse than I get on the figure. I do that. I get sidetracked and I just run away with myself, guys. So, apologize for that. But, yeah. So, anyway, guys. This has been the uh, Fiend Bray Wire Ultimate uh, pickup figure. Let me know down below. Like I said, guys. If you do want to see the Mortal Kombat ones. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know if you think I should pick up any other figures. And, uh, in the meantime, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.